It's Queen Danielle Renee, Cousin Blunt's Mobile Monsoon Manicures, the mobile nail salon. We are going to be testing out and trying out some really fun things today. I got some new glue. I got a wax pen to pick up some crystals. And we are going to draw some flames. You can see that I have already done some flames. I drew them up by my cuticle instead of the tip of my nail because I was doing it facing myself. There's some chrome on there, there's some glitter on there, but I wanted to show you this really awesome pen that I got. The tip of it is wax, the other tip is metal. I got it off of AliExpress for $1.60. I got this Nailene nail glue. It honestly reattaches everything back together. I fixed my wax candle warmer with it so it can attach some crystals. The only thing is the tip of the applicator is a little, I don't know, not messy, but it's better if I just put a little bit of glue onto each crystal at the same time while I'm holding it with my wax pen. Being careful not to get any glue on on anything oh my god you can see i just dropped it yep and that is the box's gem now okay all right well we got it seriously thought it was stuck for a second a little bit of glue and then we're just going to place it in the center and we're just going to build up around it and this glue seriously dries in seconds i'll definitely make sure to link everything below for sure the glue and for sure the wax pen holder it's pretty nice. Um, it's really sturdy. You can actually sharpen it or you can kind of like scrape away the tip of the wax pen and like refreshen up the wax. Like it, I got a little bit of glue on there and I was able to kind of scrape it away and still keep it sticky. So that's typically what I'm doing. I'm just kind of dabbing a little bit of glue onto each crystal and then putting on it on my nail where I would like it to lay. I'm just doing a nice little one, one in the center, two on the side, maybe, yeah, two on the sides. Um, it's kind of hard to see which colors there are because a lot of these little guys are holographic, but they shine differently. I don't really care. I was just kind of going for it just to see how cute we can actually make this. What do you guys think? I would definitely love to know in your comments below. You can always like and subscribe my channel. That is never going to be a problem. Okay, let's make sure that all of these little crystals are on there and ready to go. I'm just kind of pushing them down a little bit. Last one. Dab a little bit of glue on there and then we're going to pop it on my nail bed. And after I recorded this video, these gems stayed on for a full 10 days. It's pretty amazing. This is probably my favorite that I've done by D&D Gel. Even the art is by D&D Gel. The chrome I got off of AliExpress, it's a chameleon chrome, which is super pretty. But check that out. I love the little glitteries. Too cute. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to draw some flames. I got this pen from my local store, or I got it off of Amazon. I honestly cannot remember anymore. There's a metal tip, and then there's a bunch of brushes. But how you make a flame is like you make a U, but you make it really, really pointy on both sides, and then you kind of curve it in to give the body of the flame. It's more easy to do once you practice a few times. I had to look it up online, but honestly, they're pretty simple. I could add this in as a simple nail art or a medium nail art in any of my services, depending on what you want to do with your client and their nails. Just a really thin brush and really thin strokes, making sure the thickness of all the flames are even. And there you go. You kind of got it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you want to learn how to draw anything else on your nails.